welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today, I am going to do a Bible study here with my friend Barb, and we're going to talk a little bit about the end day. Okay, well guys, this is why I have to film inside today instead of my normal, usual outside. <laughs> I have the whole family over here doing things and well, I just thought I would show you quick here. Got the grandkids, we're mowing the lawn and well, <laughs> here's your view of what's happening in my house. <laughs> My husband's out front weed eating and you know so yes you may have your you may have your thing my sweetie and there and there's Barb you know so anyway I'm just kind of giving a quick showing you why I have to go film in the house <laughs> it's a little bit busy around here <laughs> yep 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 so Anyway, here is how it looks. So I'm gonna go in and film. You gonna flip that around one more time? Let's see him do it. Flip it around, give it a flip. Let's see how your, your work is. There. Ah, wow. <laughs> Don't hit me though. All right, you are so intense. <laughs> okay, enough, okay, that's good. <laughs> so anyway, this is why I'm filming inside. Okay. Well, here is my dear friend Barb, as you all know her, my sister-in-law, best of friend. We have decided that we're going to do a uh, little Bible study, as I said on the intro, uh, about uh, the end times. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be interesting. I um, have a few scriptures here that uh, I uh, had written down. Well, not written down, but I, I put in the book here. And I don't know if we're going to get to all, all, all of them, but um, we'll uh, go to at least number three, and then we'll okay. see from where there we're going, okay? okay. So, <clears throat> I, I like this one right here. It says, now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branches is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. That's Matthew 24, 32, 33. So, what do you suppose they're talking about? Well, what do you think? Uh, that's what this is, it's about, you know, it's a Bible study thing. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, it's talking about the fig tree and summer, so maybe it's talking about, uh, knowing when things are going to start happening. Well, I think so. I think it's possibly when you start seeing signs that uh, Jesus is going to return to look up because I think it is trying to say here, he's even at the door. Mm -hmm. I really think that that's what that means. And um, let's see. Uh, then, then this one here. For the Lord himself. <laughs> I can read very well. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, 
which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's cool. That is really cool. Yeah, I think so. I mean, well, I mean, to me, that is like, we're going to be just walking around on the earth here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to be doing normal, normal yeah. things, you know, much like a day to day, even just mm -hmm. family doing stuff and people going to work and, and just being sick, going to the hospitals or, or whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you're going to hear the trumpet blast. Now, I think this pertains to those that are saved though. Yeah. I would say those that know Jesus is their Lord and Savior, they are the ones that's going to be caught up with him in the air. And you don't want to miss that. And you don't. But you know, there's a lot of people that go to church and they're just religious. And they think they're good enough. They think, hey, I know it here. But they've never got it here. I'm sure there's plenty. I, I, I think there's a lot of people out there that never, it's the 12-inch drop <laughs> from mm -hmm. the head to the heart. Mm -hmm. And those people are not going to be taken because Jesus knows who loves him and believes him with their whole heart, soul, and mind, not just their mind. So when this trumpet blast comes off, he's going to catch us up to meet him in the air. Wow. I, 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 can you even imagine what that's going to be like to just... It's going to be pretty impressive. <laughs> it's going to be scary too, I would think. Yeah, it might be. I, I would think this would be a very scary moment. And yet, he doesn't give us a spirit of fear. Which is true. Power and love and a sound mind. Well, that is true. That's Second Timothy. I can't remember. Ah, uh, it's. I have it right here. Uh, let me look at here. Let me hang on a second, because I know I have it in my things here. I just gotta find it. Um, where would I have had it? That's my problem. Is I gotta look for it. <laughs> well, you know, this is a little more impromptu today. Um, where? I will find it. I know it's here. I'm sorry. Guess I should have had this a little bit more. Well, you didn't know I was going to say it. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is true. Well, it has like disappeared. I mean, I know it's here. But I did see one that I think is definitely 1 John 1 9. Okay. Uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. We have to ask Jesus to come into our heart. And then when this caught up in the air happens, <laughs> which we call the rapture. Yeah. <laughs> when that happens, oh my goodness, that will be amazing. Mm. Yeah. Hard to think about. I, I just can't even picture it. Okay. I, just think. Well, I mean, let's let's read. Maybe there's some other scriptures. You know, in fact, I might decide to read from. Um, okay. On that one, but let me read one more here. And to wait on his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. First Thessalonians one seven. Well, I sure don't want that wrath. Ugh, I wouldn't want it. The wrath during the tribulation time that's going to come. It's going to be seven years after um, Jesus raptures people up. It's going to be seven years of, I'm going to say it, hell on earth. Yeah. It is going to be the worst possible time ever. You know, there's, um, there's one here that says, And then two will be in the fields. One shall be taken and the other left. The two shall be grinding in the meal, and one shall be taken, and the other wa left. Watch therefore, ye know not what hour the Lord doth come. Well, you know. Where is that in the Bible? I'm um, oh, sorry. That one was Matthew 24, 40, and through 42. Okay. And um, so there's a lot of things that's getting ready to happen. Let's go to here. I'm going to read. Um, 
<clears throat> okay, I'm going to do Matthew 24. We're going to start with verse 6, and I'm going to go to verse through 14, okay? So it says, And ye shall hear of rumors of wars, see that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. Those sound pretty scary, mm -hmm. but it also sounds like today. It does. It every, sounds very much like what's going on now. Yeah, every day you hear an earthquake mm -hmm. and pestilence. Mm -hmm. What do you think coronavirus is? Mm. It's a pestilence and famines all around the world. Mm -hmm. People are starving. I mean, we're even seeing small samples of it here in our own grocery stores. You go to the grocery store to get some of your own natural, normal stuff, and they're it's hard to find. Yeah. It doesn't mean it has to be food. It, it might mean just basic necessities as well. I uh -huh. think it means everything's going to start getting harder and harder to get. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it says, then all these are the beginnings of sorrow. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and to kill you and will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be Offended. Offended. You been on Facebook? Have you been on Facebook lately? Mm -hmm. Offended? Everybody I mean, is. Everyone's offended. You know, I read offended a few years back and didn't think anything about it. That word didn't even stand out at me. I, di I didn't even, I mean, I just offended and went on. And it's like, now you look at Facebook and somebody is offended all the time for everything. Okay. <laughs> kids come. Okay. All right. <laughs> and so, I mean, it's just offended all the time. I kind of lost my place where I was. Sorry. Hang on. Let me find it. Where was I? Earthquakes. And then the beginning of sorrows, tribulations. Maybe you finished. I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Why did I lose my spot? I am sorry, guys. I'm a little... I'm a little kind of not with it as much today. I just learned this morning a cousin of mine passed away. Mm. And I was very close to her. And so, love you, my dear. So, I, I am struggling. But I have to be able to talk about this, too. Because we've got to know, I mean, whether mm -hmm. the Lord returns mm -hmm. or whether we die, we need to make sure we know what's going on. Yes. Oh, tribulation and kill you. And we'll be hated for all nations. Okay. I cannot find my spot. Okay, nation again. Oh, where was I? Oh, now this is ridiculous that I cannot find it. <laughs> okay, where did I see offended? I cannot believe I can't find this. Can you hit pause for just a moment so I can find it and then we'll come back to it. All right, I feel silly. I had to really spend some moments here and then finally Barb found it. And then many will be offended, which is verse 10, by the way, and will betray one another and will hate one another. Oh, come on. Listen to the news right now. They're actually trying to tell you um, to tattletale on your neighbors if they're not doing um, the coronavirus rules of doing whatever in the sake of everybody being healthy. Now, I mean, we all need to be healthy. I'm not trying to say that, but it sounds like this verse. It's asking people to be telling on one another, to just to mm -hmm. to just betray one another's. I mean, they don't want us to look at each other. They don't want us to be around each other. Yeah. And physical distancing. They're calling social distancing. Right. Exactly. And so they're just keeping us betrayed, so to speak, one another. And that scripture right there, I really think fits today. Mm -hmm. Then verse 11, and then many false prophets will rise up and will deceive many. You know, there is so many people out there that are wrong teachers. They don't teach the truth as well as people claiming to be Jesus. I, wow. <laughs> I actually saw it on one of the YouTube channels. Some lady was given a, a dream vision that she had hmm. and a person wrote in claiming to be Jesus and I talked with him and he told me I was going to die and go to hell because I did not believe in him 
and that what I think is Jesus is, he's actually the devil, and that... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, that it's really a bad, bad thing that uh, I am following the supposed Jesus Christ, which is not the real truth. I mean, this right there is talking about that. That person. Yeah. That uh, that person and many others just like it. Well, they're out there busy as can be. They're like just mm -hmm. really... <laughs> they're supposed to be blowing leaves and stuff or whatever. And <laughs> That's funny out there. Sorry. Didn't mean to get distracted. <laughs> it's just the family's here, so... All right, let's see. And we'll deceive many. And, you know, the guy, he had his own YouTube channel, and I looked him up, and he had a lot of followers. I didn't watch any of his videos because I didn't even want to fill my head with his stuff. But he had quite a lot of followers. They may follow him as a joke. Some of them may take him serious. But anyway, Pardon he's me. out there deceiving many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will wax cold. Some versions say grow. I prefer the word wax because grow just means, it, it does mean the same thing. But I think of wax versus cold, growing cold. You know, you're just getting cold, but waxing cold. To me, you think of a candle. You're mm -hmm. bright, you're lit, you, your flame is bright, and your uh, wax is, is, melting. is melting. It's liquid. But then you blow that candle out, you blow out your light, and that becomes hard and rigid. And actually, it gets hard and rigid rather quickly. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take long at all. It doesn't. So to me, I like the word wax more than grow mm -hmm. cold. I, I, I think it gives more descriptiveness to what it means. Okay. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. So that means we just need to keep hanging in there and keep our faith. And not lose sight of who Christ is. And then it says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Um, that right there is, you know, right now I am reaching people around the world. Yeah that I wouldn't just sitting at home talking to my neighbors and all of that. So the gospel has to be preached to all of the world. Mm -hmm. And um, because they've closed down so many churches, people are going to the internet now. Mm -hmm. They are. And they're beginning to uh, um, preach through the internet. And I think more people are hearing about yeah. Christ than ever before. I think you're right. So that's pretty amazing. Ah. Um, can you hit pause for just a moment for me? Thank you, dear. Okay, sorry, we just had a little bit of an interruption, and so I needed to hit pause for a moment. We got that taken care of now. So, anyway, um, I kind of lost where we were. We were just talking about that the end will come mm -hmm. and um, how the gospel will be taught to the whole world. And I know Barb, in her devotions today, she read something mm -hmm. that she thought would be neat. So I thought I'd let her read those out here. Okay. Nothing impure will ever enter it. And it there is referring to heaven. Nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's Revelations 21, 27. And then, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And that's Romans 8, 39. So the first one, mm -hmm. we're going to make it to heaven as long as we have faith in Christ. And that's right. what all this is. Mm -hmm. Our love is not going to be taken away. He's, no. He's going to fully give us love. I, I just think Christ is just saying that... And, and nothing can... Take Except us out of his hands. Nothing can take us out of his love. Correct. <laughs> Busy household today. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> but anyway, he loves us so much. and But he needs us all to be saved. Yes. So when this happens, when this, the second coming, as some people refer to it, but I think is a separate event from the rapture. Mm -hmm. When this actually happens... 
people must know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. You can't have it just here. You gotta have it here in your whole essence. You really do. You gotta let it in. And some people are, like I said, very religious, but you know, we've got to really mm -hmm. let. It's not just going to church. It's not. It's not just going to church correctly. You know, going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than me sitting in the garage is gonna make me a car. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, we need to make sure it's here, not just here. But anyway, I have one last scripture I think I'm going to read here. And um, we'll see what it does here. And behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. You know, I think I'll go get us a drink while you read that. Oh, okay. That, that sounds good. Okay. In the twinkling of an eye, did I just, we, <laughs> sorry, I missed, we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in the moment, in a twinkling in the eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Do you hear that? Strawberry and blackberry. Which one do you want? Where'd you go? Julie? Julie? Where'd you? Julie? Where did you go? Your clothes are sitting here. Where on earth are you? Now that's just weird. Crazy prank. find Steve. Maybe he knows where she went. It's the rapture. 
God came and Jesus came back and claimed his church. You can't even get through the the lines are blocked. You can't get through oh, it all. No. The lines are blocked. There's so many calls coming in that they just can't get to them. So there's it's I'm afraid. The rapture but happens. I think, Steve. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think that's all we got. Just Okay. This was a bit of dramatics that I have done for today. But I want to know if this really happened today, if this happened five minutes from now, if this happens next week or 10 years from now, are you ready? Are you going to be caught up and going to heaven or are you going to be left behind? And let me tell you, you don't want to be left behind. The seriousness of being left behind is going to be an awful seven years of tribulation. The devil is going to come and it is going to be incarnated as the Antichrist. And he's going to come in and wage war with anyone that is a Christian. Now, the Christians now on earth will be caught up in the rapture. After the rapture happens, there will be people that will be born again, will receive Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. So when that happens, now we'll have a whole new set of Christians on the earth because there will be many people that will know the truth. And the truth is what sets you free. Now, you will then, though, be left to here to go through the tribulation, which is going to be horrible during that time. It's not going to be good. It's going to be very bad. <sighs> the, the things, the troubles that we have now are nothing compared to what it's going to be. But there's going to be microchipping. There's going to be mind controls and physical abuse. And if you won't take that microchip, which is the mark of the beast, the 666, the Antichrist is going to hunt you down and he's going to cut your head off. But you know what? If you don't take it because you want Jesus as your Savior, when you do have your head cut off, good news is you're going to go right straight to heaven. Now, I want to let you know that the three uh, people left behind, Barb, they're all definitely saved, okay? This was just a skit we were putting in. Barb represented the religious people that knows it here but doesn't know it here. My husband, Steve, represents the skeptics that's heard it but just doesn't care. It doesn't really, it just, who cares? It just, I just don't believe it type of thing. And then Nichelle, she represents the one that just doesn't know what to believe. So that kind of hits a lot of different people. There's other types of beliefs. There's the atheists out there and all of that. But this is going to let people know that just because you're religious does not mean you're going to make it to heaven. So I want to say to you right now, if you don't know Jesus as your savior, I want you to get to know Jesus and get to know him now because this same scenario that I just did here could happen in a blink of an eye. In fact, that's what the Bible says it's going to happen. In a twinkling of an eye, there will be no time whatsoever to prepare for it. It's just going to happen. And we could disappear in any second now because all the fulfilling of scripture is happening very much before our eyes so take the time to get to know Jesus now uh, it is move it from your head to your heart ask him to come in today <laughs> my clothes <laughs> but you would have never guessed <laughs> two separate things here <laughs> well I am putting my jacket back on, I guess. <laughs> well, I hope you all kind of got something out of my little skit that I did. But the Lord has also laid a song on my heart for you. And I want to sing it for you now. <clears throat> Life was filled with guns and war And everyone got trampled on the floor I wish we'd all been ready. Children died, the days grew cold. A piece of bread could buy a bag of gold. 
I wish we'd all been ready. There's no time to change your mind. The sun has come and you've been left behind. A man and wife asleep in bed. She hears a noise and turns her head. He's gone. I wish we'd all been ready. Two men walking up a hill. One disappears and one's left standing still. I wish we'd all been ready. There's no time to change your mind. The sun has come and you've been left behind. Life was filled with guns and war. Everyone got trampled on the floor. I wish we'd all been ready. Children died, the days grow cold. A piece of bread could buy a bag of gold. I wish we'd all been ready. There's no time to change your mind. How could you have been so blind? The father spoke, the demons died. The son has come and you've been left behind. You've been left behind. So anyway, I want to encourage you now, don't be the ones that are left behind. It is not going to be a fun time at all. Come here, sweetie. Come here. <laughs> I want to thank my granddaughter <laughs> and my others, but she's here with me, uh, for helping out with the skit. I think it was a fun moment, although I think she had a headache when we were doing it and she didn't do much action. <laughs> but anyway, please remember, teach your children, teach yourselves to love Jesus and let Jesus be the Lord of your life. <laughs> oh. So anyway, I want all of you to spend some time today soul searching, making sure you're not left behind. If you don't know Jesus, make sure you do today. So all of you, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> and you all take care and God bless and happy moments with God.